Good day students, today we will going to talk about proving an identity through mathematical induction. In this lesson, we will use mathematical induction in proving an identity. So we have three easy steps to do the mathematical induction. Step number one, assume that the statement is true for n equals one. Step number two, Assume that the statement is true for any value of n equals k. In the third step, we have to prove that the statement is true for n is equal to k plus 1. Okay, sample problem number 1. Prove that 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus all the way to n is equal to n times n plus 1 all over 2. The first step that we need to do is to assume that this is true for n equals 1. So step number 1 is assume that n is equal to 1. Okay. Assume that this is true for n is equal to 1. So if we assume that this is equal to 1, so we have n is equal to n times n plus 1 all over 2. Substitute 1 from n, so we have 1 is equal to 1 times 1 plus 1 all over 2. And then we have 1 is equal to 1 times 1 plus 1 is 2 all over 2. We have the common factor cancel, so that I know 1. So that's 1 is equal to 1. Okay? So, pasado tayo sa step number 1 that this identity is true for n is equal to 1. In step number 2, we have to assume that this statement is true for n is equal to k. So if we are going to assume that this is true for n equals to k, so we have to substitute n by k. So we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus all the way to k is equal to k times k plus 1 all over 2. So second step, we are going to substitute lang n by k. Step number 3. Okay. Step number 3, we have to assume, or we have to prove, we have to prove that this is true for n is equal to k plus 1. Okay. So ibig sabihin, lahat ng n ay kapantan mo naman ng k plus 1. So we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus all the way to k plus 1 okay, lahat ng n pinatan ko naman ng k plus 1 is equal to k plus 1 multiplied by k plus 1 plus 1 all over 2 okay so lahat yun yung pinatan ko na k plus 1, lahat ng n so, kanina, k lang pinalit ko. Ngayon naman, pinalit ko naman ng k plus 1 kada n. Okay. Now, we are going to prove that this statement is true for n equals k plus 1. To do that, we have to substitute the value of this. Okay. What is the value of 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus all the way to? So, ano ba ang value niya? So, ang value niya is eto. Okay? Ito yung value niya na gagamitin mo dito. So, ilipat mo lang siya dito. So, you have k times k plus 1 all over 2 plus k plus 1 and then equal to k plus 1 times k plus 1 plus 1 all over 2. Okay? So, itong value na to ay nilipat ko dito as substitute o yung as value of this one. So, ang value ng 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus all the way to is 
k times k plus 1 all over 2 eto siya pinlas mo kay k plus 1 equals k plus 1 times k plus 1 plus 1 all over 2 ok so we have k times k plus 1 all over 2 plus k plus 1 is equal to k plus 1 times the quantity of k plus 1 plus 1 all over 2 ngayon may nakikita kayo denominator which is ang hirap niya isolve ng my denominator para mas mapadali natin yung buhay natin tatanggalin natin ang denominator by multiplying both sides by 2 Okay? Imumultiply mo both sides by 2 para mawala yung denominator natin. So, pag minultiply mo ito, makakansel ito, magdita si k times k plus 1. Plus, dahil ito ay isang binomial na minultiply sa 2, so, imumultiply uh, mo siya, you have 2 times k plus 1. Pagkatapos, equal siya sa, nakansel na ito, so, natira natin ay k plus 1, multiplied by k plus 1 plus 1. Okay. Now, ano ba yung goal natin dito? Ang goal natin dito ay mapagtulad natin yung expression sa left side at yung expression sa right side. Yun yung pinaka-goal natin to prove that this statement is true for any value of n. Okay. To solve for this, you have to use the distributive property. You have k times k and k times 1. You have k squared plus k. And then you have to distribute this also. You have 2k. 2 times k is 2k. And 2 times 1 is 2. Equals. So this one is k plus 1 multiplied by k plus 2. Okay? So you have k plus 1 multiplied by k plus 2. So we are going to combine this Okay, so you have k squared plus k, okay, plus k plus 2k, we will combine this, we have 3k, and then plus 2 is equal to, ang gawin lang natin dito ay, i-ano lang natin, k foil. So you have k times k, k squared, you have k times 2, 2k, you have 1 times k, K, you have 1 times 2, 2. Okay. So, you have to combine this with the common term sila. So, you have K squared plus 3K plus 2. Which is equal to K squared plus 3K plus 2. Therefore, if this is equal, we can say that this is true for n is equal to k plus 1. And therefore, I can say that true for any value of n. Okay? So that's all for number 1. Okay, let us consider this problem. So you have 11 plus 19 plus 27 plus all the way to 8n plus 3 is equal to n times 4n plus Seven. Step number one is to assume Assume that this statement is true for n equals 1 To solve for this we have 8n plus 3 is equal to n times n or 4n plus 7 All we need to do is to substitute 1 from n So you have 8 times 1 plus 3 is equal to 1 times 4 times 1 plus 7 okay so you have 8 times 1 is 8 plus 3 is 11 and you have 4 times 1 is 4 plus 7 is 11 times 1 is 11 so in step number 1 we are fast okay nakapasa tayo dun sa step number 1 na equal siya kapag ang n ay 1 okay in step number 2 we are going to assume Okay, assume that this statement is true for n equals k. So all we need to do is substitute k by n. Or uh, n by k. So you have 11 plus 19 plus 27 plus all the way to 8k plus 3 
is equal to k times 4k plus 7. Okay? Okay now. So in step number 2, we are assuming that this statement is true for a equals k. The next step, step number 3, we are going to assume or to prove that this is true for n equals k plus 1. So, ibig sabihin, kung kanina, kaya yung pinulit natin, kaya naman ay k plus 1. So, you have 11 plus 19 plus 27 plus all the way to 8 times k plus 1 plus 3 is equal to this would be k plus 1 multiplied by 4 times k plus 1 plus 7. Okay? So, yun. Lahat naman ng n ay tinatal ko ng k plus 1. Okay. Ang sunod nila gawin is to find the value of this. Ano bang value ng 11 plus 19 plus 27? So, that is ito. K times 4K plus 7. So, yun yung papalit ko. We have K times 4K plus 7 plus this one. We have 8 times K plus 1 plus 3 equals, you have to copy this also, you have K plus 1 multiplied by 4 times K plus 1 plus 7. Okay, so we have this one. Now, our goal is to simplify this para mamroon natin ang equal yung left side sa right side. So by doing that, we have k times 4k plus 7 plus the quantity of a times k plus 1 plus b is equal to k plus 1 times the quantity of 4 times k plus 1 plus 7. So our goal is to make this equal. Okay? So we are going to distribute this one. So you have k times 4k and k times 7. So you have 4k squared plus 7k. Plus, you have this one. 8 times k is 8k. 8, 8 times 1 is positive 8. And we have plus 3. Okay? Ito lang yung distribute ka. So 8 times k plus 1. Kasi ito, kapag mo lang plus 3 is equal to, you have k plus 1 multiplied by 4 times k is 4k plus 4 times 1 is 4 plus 7. Okay? So, next, combine like terms in here. So, you have 4k squared plus 15k kasi a7k plus 8k is 15k plus a plus 3 is 11 equals k plus 1 multiplied by 4k plus 4 plus 7 that is 11 okay so copy lang natin itong left side so you have 4k squared plus 15k plus 11 is equal to I-multiply mo lang, that is 4k squared. You have k times 11, is positive 11k. And then you have 1 times 4k is 4k. And then 1 times 11 is 11. Then combine this. So, you have 4k squared plus 11 plus 4 is 15k plus 11. And this is the same as this. So, you have 4 k squared plus 15k plus 11. If they are equal, therefore, this statement is true for any value of n. So, this means kahit anong ilagay na n mo dyan, ay mag-equal lang ang kanilang identity. Okay, in sample problem number 3, we have to prove 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus all the way to 2n plus 3 is equal to n plus 4. Again, the first step that we need to do is to assume that this statement is true for any value of n plus 1. If n equals 1, so step number 1, if n is equal to 1, so you have 2n 
plus 3 equals n times n plus 4. Substitute 1 from n, so you have 2 times 1 plus 3 is equal to 1 times 1 plus 4. And then evaluate 2 times 1 is 2 plus 3 is 5. And then 4 plus 4, 1 plus 4 is 5 times 1 is 5. So they are equal. Therefore, this statement is true for n equals 1. Step number 2 is to assume that this statement is true for n equals k. We are going to assume that this statement is true for n equals k. So you have 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus all the way to 2k plus 3 is equal to k times k plus 4. Okay? So, pinagtan ko lang ng k lahat ng n. So, yun lang yung step number 2. Okay, in step number 3, you have to prove, or you have, oh ha, you have to prove that this is true for n is equal to k plus 1. Okay, this is the third and last step. So, you are going to substitute k plus 1 from n. Kung ang una, ang ginawa natin is substitute natin yung k, sunod naman is substitute natin yung k plus 1. So, mangyayari, papatanong ito ng k plus 1. So, you have 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus all the way to 2 times k plus 1 plus 3 is equal to k plus 1 multiplied by k plus 1 and then plus 4. Okay? So, ayan. So, lahat na n, tinagdang pa naman k plus 1. So, yun yung step number 3. And all you need to do here is to make left side and right side equal to prove that this statement is true for any value of n. So, the value of 5 plus 7 plus 9 is just k times k plus 4. So, you are going to bring it down. So, you have k times k plus 4 plus, you have this one, 2 times k plus 1 and by 3 is equal to k plus 1 times you have k plus 1 plus 4. Okay. Now we are going to simplify the left side and the right side. So this one you have k squared. k times 4, 4k. Plus you have 2 times k, 2k, you have 2 times 1, positive 2, and then bring down positive 3, okay? Equals, you have k plus 1 multiplied by k plus 1 plus 4 is 5, okay? So you have k plus 1 multiplied by k plus 5. Okay, now, you're going to combine like terms, so you have k squared, plus 4 times 2k or 4k times plus 2k is 6k plus this one will be will be 5 equals so you have to make a foil method you have k times k that is k squared plus k times 5 is 5k 1 times k is k and then 1 times 5 is 5 Next, combine this, you have 5k plus k, so you have k squared plus 6k plus 5. And then you have k squared plus 6k plus 5, which is equal. And therefore, if these are equal, we can say that this statement is true for any value of k. I carry my heart.